All right, heading into realm number three, we have the Shattered Reaches all here. Okay, that's, the first one is the thing that we just selected, which is everybody gains uh, one of each stat. Uh, enemies resist cold. Area contains oases. Lay of the Land is unknown. I don't like Lay of the Land is unknown. Uh, minus two penalty on challenge rules. Nose have a chance to be inflicted with energy siphon and germination. That middle one sounds like absolute death. Uh, and then enemies resist fire and chaos, no forge nodes. I'm not too bothered by no forge nodes. Uh, I'm very tempted by shattered reach, shattered reach, but I think it would get us killed. So I'm going to go for lost province. Oh, that's very interesting, Jokewa. Uh, okay, so what can we pick up now we have two points so we could go one two and get our first tier two talent we could also pick up another warrior card and a skill mastery i think the tier two talent is worth it but let me take a look what am i gonna pick as my tier two talent if i go if i go and get it is it gonna be something impactful our strength is nice and high so it's anything in this so we have burn stacks not that interesting more melee damage more physical resist Recover 1 HP on turn start. You can recover up to 10 HP this way per battle. That's interesting. Effective Might is increased. Holding a shield, you gain 1 and avert every 3 turns. That's interesting. 25% chance per Fury to apply Bleed equal to 50% of your Strength mod, which is 6. None of these are too strong, but I think Regeneration is interesting. But is it worth going deep for that and then picking up a synergy slot so we could get we could have draw every turn too i think we need to make a beeline for that so kinetic blow we can't upgrade i think weapon throw is worth the upgrade yeah i think the the steam controller was kind of like a first uh a first experiment with that and uh and they, they did a good job with it too so we have 300 gold we have zero fate we could pick up one fate over here and also gain five supplies here remove exhaustion which isn't that interesting to me this is definitely the fate path we could pick up a fate here a fate here who are you the lich the lich absolutely destroyed us last time Party is blessed with might, but we have to face a bunch of baddies. I'm trying to decide. I don't think we're going to get to... Oh, wait. So we could pick up this fate here. Waygate. No, we'd waygate to here. So we would miss out on this fate. So we'd have to grab this fate, this fate, and then this fate. But then we'd end up at the Lich with three fate not having been able to spend it. I also want to spend our money. Not that we have that much of it. Hmm. Oh, that's good, Joe K. Well, I'm surprised. Uh, I would have been... I, I was concerned that the battery life would be a little rough. This fight looks very bad for us. So I don't know if we go for this. Double shrines over here doesn't look great. I, I kind of think maybe we do this fight, though. We did a fight like this, and it was okay for us. And then we can pick up 240 gold, do an event, get some more fighting, pick up a fate, get a campfire here, and then maybe go wide around that way. Then we do, That way we don't get a shop. But we, we generate some gold for next time, so... Sure. Let's try it. Let's try this deadly encounter. Famous last words. Okay, so we have Poison Spit, which is a cell-based attack. Scare, which we're not going to be able to avoid. Ooh, not knowing what he's going to do is kind of a bummer. Just, I don't want to move this guy. Okay, you're corrosive spinning now. We are going to take the scare, which scares me. Um, 
There's no way we get the kill. 75? No. Hmm. Does this... That does not get the kill. I think we want a weapon throw. Oh, silent. That's great. That that is a that is a huge differentiator for like a handheld device for sure. Uh, poison spit. Like I'm not that worried about poison spit. I feel like I can pick up that kill next turn. So I'm gonna start putting some work in here. Uh, Cause I'm I'm very nervous about picking up a bunch of vulnerable. This big guy seems to do like three wide attacks. So. Okay, I think Rend is the better pickup here. And I'm definitely going to use solid defense. Yeah, and solid defense is going to be my. Uh, it's going to be my only defense. And then we just have to hope it's enough to, uh, 27 feels pretty good. Oh, now you're just, now you're just adding vulnerable too? Everybody needs to chill out with the vulnerable. Uh, it's too much, too much vulnerable. Yeah, we don't know what he's doing. I'm going to go heavy on the press attacks, I think, because I want to, I want to block maximally. 20, 22 when you're vulnerable for 29 is a little scary. Okay. Very, very, getting very nervous about the just endless vulnerable that this guy is stacking up. Uh, I think we need to try and do the 92 this turn, uh, which is going to be hard because... That was, I think that was our only chance. Uh, because this is going to attack, yeah, okay, it's got to be this. All right, and then that's, I think, I think I'm actually going to, I'm going to spend all my SP to hopefully avoid this guy, yeah, doing a giant attack and destroying us. Because at 40, 45 vulnerable, yeah, that's that's going to be a problem. We'll pick up enough SP for this, but this is going to be really unfortunate. And I don't think there's any way we can get around it. Um, yeah. So, so we would gain nine guard per. We gain more guard by using this and then using this, but this thing is going to hit us so hard. Yeah. We almost got through it. Almost. Shouldn't have... I should have gained... Uh, should have gained SP before before I did that. Dang it. Press the attack was the card I built. That, okay, nice. Uh, I can see how that could build. Uh, oh, a spell damage ring. Just what the doctor did not order. Uh, oh, we can put this on. Nice. And then I think I'm going to unvoid rune this because I'd rather void rune iron regalia. I don't want the force armor. Uh, this can now be sold. Spell damage ring is better than nothing. Uh but we're going to have to do some healing now for sure. Let's see. All right. I'm going to get the synergy slot, even though that seems uh, ironic. And then we should also take a look. This one. Oh, this is our action point. So if we have any of the action points easily accessible, I feel like we have to make a beeline for it. Uh, it isn't that far. This is, I think, the closest that we can do. So it's going to cost us two, but we need to get to that soon. That will be our next uh, spot. But then let's go into our hero, go to synergy, and we should be able to add improvise, which I think is just good for business. Because what, 
What other things? Two to gain one AP is interesting. Discard a guard, gain 11 HP. We need to find a way to heal, but I don't think that's it. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, interrupt isn't going to do us much good, I don't think. So I think that is that is the play. And then I had planned to grab the 240 gold here because I think this fight would kill us. So let's go this way. Oh, it's got to be it's got to be uh water. Uh Avatar the Last Airbender style. That's uh I think that's that's the play. Uh The the water and then by extension blood bending was uh was next level. <laughs> Int, gain two crit when moving a cell lightning resist. Not that interesting. Even though bloodbending was a forbidden art. As a side note, Avatar The Last Airbender, exceptionally good show. I think we just hold off here, because uh, I don't think... We will sell stuff, but this is all basically worthless. And... Grant's parry. That would be really nice. Can I get disarmed? Oh my gosh, this iron grip is so good. That's annoying. But there's no way. I mean, I would sell other pieces of gear. Like the iron regalia or the jar. I would sell either of these in a heartbeat for this. But there's no way we're getting 300. Mirror mail is cool too. Uh but hold on. Is there any is there absolutely any way that I could sell the gear that I am wearing? <laughs> oh, I, I just want to see how much they're worth. Uh 80 and 78. So 670 is where we are now would become 750 would become 820. Nope, we're just not getting there. As good as that looked like it would be for us. There is no way we can get those gloves. So let's check to see if there's anything else of interest. It doesn't look like it. Stop looking at all the good stuff. We're out of here. Okay, so we could do... So now now we have the question of... I think we want some little fights. Should have probably bought supplies there. Definitely should have bought supplies there. Um, wish I could go back, but it warned me I can't. Uh, we can probably get some supplies from this. The fate isn't that interesting. We're not going to have another store for the rest of the way anyways. Um, we've had a hard time with this fight before. Let's let's go here and see if we can find like a fountain or something like that. Just more money and one supply. All right. Not. Okay. And then we can do this. Okay. Let's. Yeah. We'll fight some spiders. Hopefully they don't. Uh, they don't obliterate us. And we can just uh, protect ourselves from their poisons. Okay. Our. Uh, we are not as fast as we used to be. This is the worst hand to draw ever. Um. I hate that. Uh, wow, this is this is truly terrible. Um, I think we need to improvise just to get something going. Wow, that was that was very bad. <laughs> um, they're all gonna attack this turn, and I think we're in a lot of trouble.
Okay. We we did all right. But our initi our lack of initiative is really making me nervous. Okay, so this is this is a deal 12 damage route. You I can get out of the way of. So I think See if no, nope, it still targets us. That's unfortunate. Um And we just have to remove one from the mix. But I'm I'm nervous that some of these are going so fast that I don't think we're gonna uh, that I think we're gonna get into a bad way. Only one's going first here. Okay. We don't have the SP. So I think I need to do that into slash. Uh, okay, we need to we need to move and we can't. Uh, that's going to be very bad for business. Um, okay, I start with the keen strike. Okay. I just barely eked that one out, and I am gonna draw a card because I think we're we're on a bit of a timer with uh, with how long before these spiders start to get wise and uh, do a lot of damage. Yeah, it's not good. Okay, let's uh, heal ourselves up a little bit. Just move you up there, I guess. All right. Did, don't like that I had used that healing potion, but uh, but the fact that one of the spiders is out initiating us, initiating us is uh, is very problematic. Oh, Earth Dig. Why did I immediately choose violence, Doodle? It's just, it's just the way the way it be. All right, thirteen and thirteen is okay because we have solid defense. So I'll probably just use that. Um, oh, I expected that to get the kill. Foolish me. All right, just to be on the safe side. Since this might be the, this is indeed the fast spider. I'm glad I'm glad for everything that I chose to do there. Okay. Two actions left. Yep. Do that. Do that. Do that. Nice. Okay. Love the level ups. Uh, simple lacquered robe. So, okay, does this get us, that's two. That gets us to the action and we can go through a reduced card deck size or a mastery. I'm gonna go through the mastery node, I think. Does not count towards max card draw. Stat scaling is reduced or do more. I'm gonna do more here. As much as not counting towards card draw is, uh, is interesting too. We just had to get there. This fight has been problematic for us before, but I also have no idea what camping solo is going to look like. Is that just going to be awful? Maybe we go this way. We get the safe passage, which gives us some more supplies. We get supplies here too, and then we can decide. 11 enemies over three waves. Maybe we could do that. All right, I'm going to go this way, actually, I think. To no one's surprise more than my own. All right. Okay, so there's a down path. I don't think we get all the way out there and back, but I think we get like we get to do that. 
Okay. So supplies, we need some, but not well. Let's let's not buy those first though. I think we we purchase this no matter what, and then I think it's time to start graduating to the bigger potions. These ones are really nice, but I don't think uh, that's what we're looking for. I'll grab seven of those, and the medicinal leaf is cheap, and we can we can use it. Actually, hold on. I saw that we could use those from the uh, from the inventory screen, so I want to check that out. Plus four initiative, plus four five percent gold found is very nice. Okay, and then let's move like over here and then over to here. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, and we found, oh my gosh, this is a terrible place to be. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we're gonna get much out of this, but I'm gonna at least try. Oh, spicy killing the elite like that. Do we think there's any way I can thread the needle here? No. All right, so I think I saw that I can use these now. Oh, wow. They don't heal very much, do they? Okay, noted. Actually, I'll do that, I guess. And then this was a decent ring. Plus one guard to int, start battle with one armor. Interesting, okay. But we have we have more good things going on here. Our blessing is weapons crate for one battle start with seven critical. And then I was thinking. Hmm. So we can pick up a fate doing that. Then this is over three waves, so I think it might be manageable. Alright, let's let's try this one out. Our supply situation is looking better. Okay, I think we need to get these out of the way soon. I'm I'm realizing that this is a very scary fight. Uh Also, where are all of our defensive cards? Um, <laughs> 29, 30, I need 31. Yeah, okay, so I think I'm gonna sword throw here. Let slash go. I'm gonna improvise once. Really wanted to defend, not gonna lie about it. Um, How did we draw none of our defends? They're all right there. Okay, well, we're gonna take some shock. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. Oh, the shock was not in our lane. I feel like I didn't see that. Okay, so please tell me we have a defend. Yes, we do, okay. There we go. I'm absolutely gobsmacked that we didn't get through that. I was really expecting that thing to at least be dead. It's probably what that brick wall is indicating. <laughs> okay, so now, now we have a problem. We can potentially move this up if we get back kick. Okay, well, that's a decent amount of damage. Uh, okay, 
defend protects us. 28 armor is a little, a little obnoxious, but give me those kinetic blows. Okay, another blade fragment. Keen Strike won't benefit anything, but I think we might as well. Okay. Holy cow. The extra energy has really uh, improved things for us. I don't, I don't think we need to do much here, though. Need to get some defense so that we can start hitting into this thing's uh into this thing's defenses, but other than that. There we go. Alright, and we're at full health for the first time in a while. That feels pretty good. Let's see, we got two warrior item items here. We're three away from getting our next edge unlock. Two stat points would be pretty nice, though. Let me take a look at... So we're at 24, 15, 11. So I'd just be putting it into strength. So I'm weighing that against more cards. I think, I think we need to start replacing some basic defense, so... I think it's another dual wield. I'm never mad to pick up an extra dual wield. But we do probably need to look at our deck a little bit here. Because it's getting to be a little thick. Back kick is just really useful. I think quick draw might be not long for this world. That or slash. Slash could probably go. And Keen Strike, I just need another Void Rune to get rid of it. I'm going to call it there. So this fight looks like a risk, but it looks potentially lucrative. Sure. Ooh, 666 gold. Spooky. Okay, so this guy's the problem. I'm gonna improvise once. I just want to see what I'm picking up here. Okay, so Move back up like this. I think getting rid of a spider is probably good for business. And I'm, I'm going to go deep on the improvises here. That, though, was very unfortunate. A little bit of SP generation, I think, could be what we need with this, uh, with this deck. Because, oh, I forgot. This is a... Oh my gosh, yeah, we're... Maybe multi-wave fights I need to be more cognizant of, uh, because this is going to be uh, brutal. Okay, so we're just... We're going to go in on this guy. Because solid defense is going to do good work for us, although we might want to play this block card first. Yeah, I think we do that, then we do that, and I think we improvise once, and we regret it every time we improvise. Yeah, I think I think I I radically overestimated our uh, our capacity to uh, to handle waves. Yep. 
That's how I'm feeling right now. Uh... And I don't have any SP, so that's really bad. Um... Oh, you're immovable. Got it. Uh... <laughs> I think we I think we gain enough SP. Okay, so this is gonna look weird, but I think we move to here. Yeah. Okay. We're going to be able to weapon throw a weapon throw. But that means we can't solid defense. And I think we desperately need to solid defense. Oh, boy. This is a good offense, bad defense type of thing. Uh, does this kill you? Yeah, it does. So I think we kill and we take the damage. Ah, Lucas, that is an interesting one. I haven't had any move abilities, although I think I might have wasted one. So I think we get rid of this. And then we're just going to take 10 and 10. Yeah, we only have one way to move, folks. So... We're going to have to see what we can do. Uh, they're doing a pretty good job clogging things up, but uh, where do I want to be? So I think we can kill this guy, and then we can block this one. Well, we can move out of the way of this one, potentially. Okay, so let's... No, we can't move out of the way of this one. So we're going to take this hit no matter what, I think. So if I move up here, I take an extra 21 damage. Uh, <laughs> I I think that might that might have been wise. Uh, this guy's in the back row. Does lane melee have like if I move back here, would that stop? Actually, okay, this this works. I I missed the keen strike there, but yeah, I'm missing uh, I'm missing a bit of SP to be sure. Um, Okay. No, please don't move up everything. Please don't move up. Let's see. Okay, so let's quick draw to start. So I think we... Oh, really? Oh, this, this is for exactly 37. That's great. Okay. All right, we got lucky, but we have we have the elite coming in now, which is probably going to make our lives quite annoying. We're getting surprisingly lucky here on this fight. <laughs> um, okay, so if I move if I move up one, I trade eleven for fifteen, and I get out of the way of this thing which is, those are all good for business. So I'm going to do that. That uses my agility. I will dual wield, I think, rend. I, I don't want press attack to get too crazy in there. I think I can just use this block to protect myself, and then doesn't matter which one of these I pick. This one's going to go down the fastest, so... We'll do that. We're protected. I'm pooling SP. I'm not going to spend solid defense this turn. I wouldn't mind getting rid of you, because you seem very hard to avoid. Okay, so this is a lane attack. 
So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna blow this guy up for sure. But let's quick draw. What card do I want to throw? So I, I want to move back to here. That's my that's my end goal. Let's just get rid of you. Keen Strike is good to discard. Then move to here to invalidate both those attacks. Uh, and then I'm unfortunately unable to take advantage of press attack, which might be good because I'm probably filling my cart my hand up with stuff, but Okay, this is web, which is hitting us no matter what. Uh, doesn't matter where I try and move you to. But let's uh, let's move up here so we at least get rooted in a place where we can definitely hit the entire battlefield. Uh, Lucas, which uh, which tree is that in though? By the way, I'm curious. See, okay, well, it, it rooted us and now it's applying poison to other places, so perhaps ill advised, but uh, wow, we got out of that. Ooh, parry is interesting. Oh my gosh, okay, grant challenge, uh, plus one strength, increase effective might, plus two maximum HP. It's probably better than what we have. Uh, we get another agility rune. But I think we go with this one. What are we losing here? We're gaining critical when we gain guard. This is actually this is actually kind of good. And full SP, yes indeed. Uh so let's see. So this I think this shield. Uh actually maybe not an upgrade. This kite shield is doing good work because it allowed us to get the decks on one of our blocks. So let's see. So the, the strength is definitely better here, but we're losing four critical when we gain guard. Are we utilizing that? And then challenge is bad. So if we'd pick that up, we would have to... Where are we going now? Oh, straight into the, straight into the Lich fight, who I think might kill us because the Lich has been weird. Uh, we're not gaining might right now. So might is not useful. I think, I think doing more damage is more useful to us right now. Uh, that may change over time, though. Let's see. So we have two right now. So we could pick up a skill mastery. Or we could... Let's do a warrior and a, and a skill rank. And then we'll get an exposed edge over here. I feel like that might be good. Oh, we actually get a warrior over here. And this is like this is in a nice position for us. So let's grab this one. Consume all guard. For every four guard, gain one armor. Oh. Yes, I will look for it, Lucas. I think fluid defense is interesting here. I've been thinking about the fact that I wish I had some armor generation. Battle tempo, though, I think is also really good. I'm between these two. So fluid defense, I think just gaining armor is really good for us from a like sustainability perspective. Battle tempo, we do move around a lot, assuming we don't get rooted. I think I'm going to go with fluid defense, though. I am sensitive to the fact that our deck is getting a little chunky. And then I think I'm going to grab the two stop points over here in order to, yeah, to maximize. Well, it's going to be this one. So here, here's where things get a little tricky, right? So this doesn't work out great for us because we have nowhere we can put it so we can get the warrior, the top tier warrior ability. This is where we would put it to get the closest, but then the tier three is in a bad place. 
All right, I'm going to come back to that since we're not going to get it until after we potentially kill the Lich, which uh, I'm not super hopeful about. We're basically full on hit points. Uh, so I think... Well, I think it's time to see if the Lich kills us or if we kill the Lich. I don't like that there's an Elite in here, too. We're going to have to make quick work of these uh, these folks. Wow, I am right up in their business at the moment. Okay, raise zombie, raise skeleton. And then these two are doing burns, which is fine because we can... Uh, We can work on them. Words. Words are eluding me. What do you, wait, what does this guy have going on? I should have checked. I'm going to hit this guy because I don't know what, uh, what abilities we have going on here. Uh, let's see. Ceiling. Cards attached. Gain XAP. Every three turns calls an extra reinforcement. Okay, we do want to kill that guy as soon as humanly possible. Uh, but we've now made that significantly more difficult. I'm going to have to dig deep here. Uh, I'm going all the way, unfortunately. Yeah, that didn't work out. We're going to get burned. I think we're going to get overrun here. The Lich is super in the way at the moment. Um, do we get to the SP? Alright, well I can... Really? Really, game? You going to do me dirty like that? All right, I don't think it summons anybody until next turn, uh, but did that just, did that attack just go through my armor? Not sure. Okay, we at least kept the Lich from blowing us up for the moment. Okay. These draws are not doing us any favors. Um, like at all at all. Um, disarm is going to be super bad for us. Uh, but I don't think there's any way I can stop him from doing it. We're more than three rows away. Uh, hmm. Yep. Uh, and now he's summoning someone. Cool, cool. I think I think the lich has got us, got us good. Because I I think with the disarm, I don't think we're gonna be able to do damage to this guy. Yeah, I can't do anything. I, I feel like some of these bosses are not, uh, this, this would be very, I guess with a summon build, I could see killing the Lich, uh, but I, I have to, I have to dig for a block card here, uh, didn't come up with one, uh, the, uh, the frost will knock our fire off, we got that going for us, but we're gonna be overrun here. And this guy living with 2 HP is uh, just comical. Oh, okay. 18 Frost? That's not great. <laughs> we're still disarmed, so all I'm doing is defending up this turn, I believe. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. How do we do anything here? Where are all of our... Uh... Where are all of our defends? <laughs> um... Okay, so I can't I can't get past the skeleton without moving it. 
So I think, I think what I have to do is I move here, I move you to here, then I kinetic blow again, I move you to there, which then means I guess I can, yeah, then I can just rend to get rid of this guy. And I think I have to improvise looking for a block. Uh, did not get the block. Could have thrown weapon instead there. That was a mistake. Uh, we're going to take a minor hit here, but holy cow, we're going to need a lot. Uh, yeah, I remember you mentioning the debuff rune. But uh, not not too much luck there. Okay, so this is this is bad for business. Okay, I can take that guy out. That's good. I don't know if I want a keen strike here. That seems like a bit of a waste. But I also see just a mountain of damage coming in from this guy. Uh, oh, and we're rooted, so we're going to take the arcane wave no matter what. Uh, that doesn't... If that got the kill, I would consider it, but it does not. And drawing a card isn't going to do us much good. I think we survive this turn, but it's not going to be pretty. Yep. Okay, well, this is why we have healing potions or something. Okay, he's creating chill orbs and then gaining invulnerable. That's probably okay. Being rooted is a real drag at the moment. Um... I don't think there's a value to waiting. I don't know chill orbs. I don't know what they do. I don't think I've seen it. Uh, but I don't want to consume all of my guard to gain armor. Or maybe I do. This Basically, I'd be taking 9 damage to gain 3 armor for future hits. That's probably worth it. Because uh, we can... Do I improvise once? I think so. Eh, solid defense, I'll use it. Okay. Okay, so he made the skeleton invincible. Uh-oh. I, I can't tell if I'm supposed to be afraid of the back of this or the front of this. Chill orb. When effect expires, apply five chill to the units in the specified direction. Is this the specified direction or is this the specified direction? I don't know. Guess we'll find out the hard way. Now, unfortunately, we don't have kinetic blow going. I wish we did. Uh... I think we just defend up twice because at the moment we have a lot of armor, which is good. Okay. More baddies coming in. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it is the direction of the white chill proboscis, not the other way. Got it. Okay. We're not quite dead yet. I think we weapon throw to blow up this guy. Yeah, I think so. We get rid of Keen Strike. Get rid of you. And then... Hit you. 
And then I want things down on the lower edge, I think. I'd also like to not be rooted, but call me old fashioned. I feel like I'm rooted for the rest of eternity. Um, now, I think this only hits this square. I don't think it hits both of them, but we'll find out perhaps the hard way. Uh, okay, I'm just going to try and pop off with press attacks, I think. I want to do solid defense, so I don't think I... Well, do I need it? Yeah, I do. I'm worried that one of these turns I'm just going to take damage that I did not expect. And I'm going to get killed. Okay, it did hit me with the chill. So it is it is a line that extends as far as the eye can see. Uh, and I'm still rooted for one turn, which is super cool. Uh, means I can't do anything. How much waste do we have here if I use the, the healing potion? It's not that much, uh, but every little bit counts. I wish I could move. The, the more I use press attack, the more danger I'm in, but... Please unroot me. Okay, we are unrooted, at least for a moment here. Weird, I know. Just push those guys down. Okay, you're doing blizzard, so it doesn't really matter. Uh... Wait, why can't I move up? Excuse me? Shift one, move into an adjacent cell. Okay, well I have I have agility, so I will just move to here. I'm gonna move this guy up, I think. I think I'm gonna improvise once. More block is good. I'm going to get up here so that these guys aren't hitting me, and we'll call that a day. But we need to, like, we need to put, like, a ton of damage in on this Lich, like, as soon as humanly possible. Uh, like, this turn would be great. Okay, Bone Chill. 18 damage to all and Blizzard. Okay. Okay. It's just going to be a lot of press attacks, and pretty soon our deck is going to only be press attacks, and it's not going to be good for us. Uh, mark my words. But Keep putting the damage in. I'm going to go... No, I want solid defense played here. So I think that's the end of the turn. 164. It's not out of the question. Draw enough press attacks. They just keep doing more. It does look doable. That was, a, and that's quite a change from where we were not long ago. Uh, this still does more, so I'll let one of the press attacks go. All right, I guess we don't have to finish off the minions. I, Jacob, I, I do like that. Uh, the fight looked doable on only at the beginning of the turn where I finished the fight. <laughs> um. Eight, eight initiative, max supplies, or gain no renown. I'll take eight initiative here. 